moment of truth. Beauty! In this video I would like to demonstrate how to wire the transfer fuel pump. This is a tidy tank and let's get straight into the video and I will take you step by step. Let's get to the wiring diagram. Okay, we have our ignition 12 volt power, then fuel pump switch. We're using 16 gauge wire on this side and 30 amps relay. This wire is going to control power control side of the relay. Pin 86, pin 85 is the ground side of the relay. This is a control side. This is a load side. Pin 30 on the load side. 12 gauge wire to 30 amp fuse right at the battery positive terminal here. Uh, pin number 87 from the relay. 12 gauge wire to the fuel pump. Transfer fuel pump on top of the tidy tank. Then we have another wire, ground wire to the vehicle chassis, and another green one which is uh, mounted to the body of the fuel pump should be connected to the tidy tank. Okay, this is a very simple basic setup. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or something is not clear, this is only demonstration. And uh, yeah, let's go and start wiring everything like it's here. This truck came from up north and uh, sad story about it that this pump has, was wired somehow because it was in use. But problem is it was done so wrong and uh, all power, all that high current was flowing through this switch. It wasn't even really installed and uh, they had a short power to the ground and uh, as you can see the result. That's everything melted. I already removed the components. I put a fuse but as you can see fuse didn't blow. Somehow or another it started melting and uh, burning because fuse was installed on the wrong side and as you can see here it was so hot and there's so many things wrong with this wiring and just this cable is going through the floor and it's just so sharp here no grommet insulation is melted As example, we're working on a Ram 3500 with a Hemi 5.7 under the hood, but it doesn't really matter because you just need to locate the same components what I'm going to do on and you just adjust everything to your vehicle. Okay, there is a power distribution box. I already removed all burn wiring from under the hood and I would say I will recommend you to disconnect the negative battery terminal okay and uh, yes let's start laying down a new wiring and connect everything yes if you first time to the channel please subscribe and click that notification bell you won't miss any videos thank you so much for that starting from the battery positive there's a 12 volts constant power supply to the pin number 30 at the relay. There's our fuse link with a 30 amp fuse. This is our connector taking a battery positive from here. This goes like this. I'm going to crimp it.
find a good location for your relay usually somewhere behind the battery where it will stay dry won't get any moisture from the road I'll put it over here and uh, we need to connect this end to pin 30 which is this guy number 30 let's do that Second thing, ignition 12 volt power down to fuel pump switch and from the switch to 86, this pin number 86 at the relay. For the ignition switch power, go to your fuse box and you see the all fuses in relays and I'm taking 12 volt ignition switch power from fuse number from fuse number 93 over here see the 93 is cigarette lighter this guy let's go check just light connected to the battery ground let's go turn the ignition on and we should see the Power there. Okay, just to the on position. Don't start. Okay. Here we go. Lit and uh, turn the back off. And just no power at the fuse okay wire the switch using a 16 gauge wire and draw the switch and as you can see it's in a picture ignition 12 volt we're on this side and we're going down to the pin number 86 which is this guy over here pull it out and you can see 86 and we even match in color our switch will be located inside the cabin okay over here we have a place there's a cover we need to run a wire through that hole you can see there's a hole let's do that Pretty easy here, there's no rubber grommet. Nice. There you go. Wire is coming through this hole. Good. Okay, one wire is coming from the 12 volt ignition power feed to the switch, and another one 
is going to relay. Okay. As you can see here, ignition power switch and another to the 86. We need to measure the length and another end will be connected to this guy. How to determine the length? Just uh, give yourself a little bit extra and follow the factory wire harness. Make sure our all wire is secure and safe. Uh, I would say, as you can see, it's coming there. Just go like so. Make sure there's no, there's no tension on it. And give yourself a little bit more. I would say here is good. Same thing again for the release side. Wire, feed it in. And go and pull it out. That guy. Same thing. Switch for the fuel pump is connected. Well, everything's tied. All right. Here was our piggy tail. Okay, now this one needs to be connected, as you can see on the drawing. 86, which is, where's the, This is 86, and as you can see on the relay, 86, and this white wire is our control side power from the fuel pump switch to the relay. Let's connect this guy to, 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 to. yeah, that wire. measurements we have our panel with the switch installed and make sure your wiring is not tangled around the brake panel accelerator or any other components like uh, this bar steering column shaft just give yourself a little bit uh, room make sure it's free for now a little bit loose and we'll put a loom and tie it to the original vehicle harness we only have one wire left, which is this 86 from the switch to the ignition 12 volt power. For that, we're using fuse holder, turns micro two fuse slot into two, no splicing, no cutting. This is a cigarette lighter ignition switch power. Pull this guy out. There's uh, two slots for accessories with power fuse. We will insert in bottom one, and top will be our control side of the tidy tank transfer fuel pump. Okay, let's put this one in. Nice and easy. And then connect this white wire, which is going to pin 86. Was really got the other end connected to the relay, and now we are going after pin 85 to vehicle ground, which is going here. Is a Factor ground, we'll use this, and it's perfect location. Just make sure you have good connections. All contact points should be clean from any rust, debris, or corrosion. That's very important. This is our ground. We'll clean this side as well. Let's take this stud out and so I already crimped another end, which is really, 
and put it all back together. 85 relay ground is connected, all clean and tight, as you can see. And uh, don't worry about the 87A, we're not using this. Just uh, do it like this and rub the electrical tape at the end. You, I don't like cutting those ends you might be using or just let it be wrapped with electrical tape. And uh, this one, yellow guy, is our pin 87 from the relay is going down to the fuel pump. Then we have uh, fuel pump chassis ground and tank ground as well. So what must be done? This is a, called the green wire to the tidy tank. Okay, this one is going to the pump. New wire from the pump to the relay is in place. Let's go check it out. This guy from pin number 87 down to fuel pump. We have a power feed and the ground to the chassis, which is uh, will be right here. And let's go under the truck. I will show you how I get it done. Okay, let's. This is coming from the tank. There's a hole in the wooden flat deck. A little slack. I use the zip ties. Turn the flasher on. There we go. One and I follow the original vehicle electrical harness. See inside the frame is protected. There is the original harness, and mine is coming just along the factory one. This is another zip tie. Nothing's loose, everything's secured, and there's a, a lot canister. We go around and see here. There's another plastic zip tie, and it's going in. Yes. Okay, if you go out. See it's coming there, coming out over here, and it's tied to the harness over, over here, and it's fa let's follow. That's the main thing, what I would like to point it, stay away from the hot exhaust ports, there's a downpipe from the exhaust manifold, stay away from that. See this kind of hot spot, and uh, we also going under the fender between the rain part, and let's move it up. And my wire is coming here, and uh, as I already shown. This is my piggy tail for the relay, and I have extra enough to get to my ground. This guy, which is coming from underneath, is connected. Power to pin 87. It's connected. Heat shrink crimp connectors will get them sealed. And uh, pump ground is connected to the tank. It's not the best location probably, but couldn't get any down, but we'll do it. We'll silicone the hole. Make sure no water will get in. Don't let it stick to the carpet, just to put it just a plastic bag. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Final step. Let's test it. Okay, pump is in the on position. Everything is connected. Let's go and turn the key on and pump the fuel. Yeah, moment of truth. Okay, just to the on position. Today, see, this is on. Our guy on, out. Oh yeah, I can hear the pump. Let's see how it works. Yeah, beauty, good job. Everything's connected, everything's working. Let's turn it off. Pump is off, perfect. Thank you so much again guys for watching, I appreciated your time, if you have any questions ask down in the comment section below and if you would like to support my small hobby YouTube channel go and watch more videos, that one on top, on the bottom and yeah subscribe, stay safe, see you soon, bye bye, and this is our tidy tank, and don't forget to seal the connections is in a heat shrink okay we'll put a wire loom and yeah all good to go thank you again see ya